This Chainsaw Man game is already looking pretty good. At the end of 2022, during one of the most stacked eras that anime has ever seen, which shows like Spy Family 2, Mob Psycho Part 3, My Hero Academia Season 6, The Good One, Blue Lock, Bleach Thousand Year Blood, Bochi the Rock, and many others. This was the season where you send your new anime out to die, drowned in the popularity of all of these other shows, and yet Chainsaw Man rose above the noise, breaking into the scene with a bang that we had not seen in a very long time. And the thing thing is, we knew it was coming. In December of 2020, the anime was announced, sending an army of manga readers to Twitter singing its praises. The success of Chainsaw Man was known for a long time, and we have yet to see any video game announcements. We've seen some collaborations like Chainsaw Man in the Waifu Booty Shoot Shoot game, but no new games. Now, it's a fact that video games are getting more expensive and are taking much longer to develop nowadays. I think most gamers have no idea how long exactly it's gonna take, so maybe this tweet from Jason Schreier, an industry expert, this guy knows what he's talking about can put things into perspective. Fun fact, video game production cycles have gone so long that if a big budget game studio started working on a brand new project today, it would likely be for the PlayStation 6. Very fun to read through the replies if you ever get the chance. With the industry the way it is right now, it's more and more important for publishers to pick up on what will be popular years from now, rather than reacting to what is popular right now. And I think any expert could have predicted Chainsaw Man's success. Could a game already be in development? The online buzz started at least two years ago, so it's possible that something is getting made already. But two years ago, you would also consider this a risky endeavor. Even if the manga is fantastic, when it comes to anime, there are many factors that can cause a series to flop. So maybe no, maybe there's nothing in development. Maybe there's nothing on the horizon and we'll never play a Chainsaw Man game in our lifetimes. Except Swami did it again, baby. Swami made one of the best Attack on Titan games I've covered on the channel. The one that started as a first person game and now it's evolving into its Unreal Engine 5 version, making it the best looking Attack on Titan game ever made not that it has too much competition. And now that this is the second time we're talking to each other, that means that we're friends now. Isn't that right, Swami? Uh, uh sure, yeah, yeah. Totally. After Attack on Titan and Mech Attack, Swami has started making a Chainsaw Man game too, because he hates finishing games and just likes starting things he'll never finish. Which is why started might not be the right word. You didn't start making a Chainsaw Man, this might be all that you get. Swami is busy. He's making a game called Mecha Attack, and this fan game stuff is kind of a hobby. There's a lot going on with that, and fan games obviously can't make money, which is completely fine. I like to do the fan games, it's like my own side thing for fun. But with that in mind, I obviously don't want to be homeless, so... But hey, if enough people play it, we can maybe change his mind. So there's a link below, which will go into his link tree with download links for Mecha Attack, Attack on Titan, and of course, Chainsaw Man, as well as his Discord server, where you can just share the stuff you did. Probably the main way to motivate him to work more on this. Right now, you have Denji and you have power. The only thing you can do is go through these two levels and kill all the zombies. After you do, congrats, you win. So it's a very quick thing, a very proof of concept, not the kind of game that Jason Trier was talking about exactly. Games take years to make, and I think there's a big uh, misconception online by uh, some people People who think that you can make a game in like a week or two and while you can make something small if you have the experience you can definitely pull off some cool things but if you play my chainsaw man fan game you can beat it in like five, 10 minutes. It's not long at all. Well, now I gotta speedrun this. First step to speedrunning, we gotta figure out the fastest way to kill a zombie. To do so, we're gonna explore these characters' movesets. And this game feels like it's built for a stylish hack and slash. There's some combo freedom here. If you change the directional button plus an attack, the attacks come out different. And you've got light attacks and strong attacks, plus jumping attacks too. Which means you got launchers, you got lunges, you've got a stabby combo thing if you perfectly time your attacks instead of mashing. And that's all with Denji. Power, well, she, she has nothing. She's basically a skin for now, so she just punches a bunch. The hammer being an aesthetic feels wrong, but that's part of the stuff that Swami would like to work on. If I was to expand upon it, I think one thing would be giving each character a more unique ability. Denji and Power, they're just kind of skins at this point for each other to do the same thing, pretty much. So, after all that research, it's time to ignore all of it and just press buttons. Alright, my plan is to catch as many of them as I can in the same combo. And we're gonna use the dodge to move around quickly. I gotta stay focused because these zombies attack you pretty fast and that's a major time loss if you're knocked down. But also, this this camera sucks! Sorry, it's a free fan game. I'm not supposed to get mad. It's the speedrun pressure. That is bullshit. All right, level one split. It's looking good. Let's get into level two. Why are you dashing into a wall? Okay, these guys are pretty passive. They only get aggressive once you go down the escalator for some reason, but that's good because this is what you want! God damn it. Okay, maybe I lied about my speedrun time. Jokes aside, this game has a very cool look. The character models look great. Uh, what's going on there? Okay, fixed. Uh, they were actually sourced from an artist, but it's more than the models. This choppy animation, the way 
Sonic character snap from pose to pose as they attack looks very anime. And then the environments in Unreal Engine 5 have all this incredible detail, reflections, it just makes the whole thing look great. Really impressive for someone who made this in just two weekends. Maybe that says something about the power of Unreal Engine 5. Or the power of Swami, one or the other. Just don't look outside the window, don't ruin this game for yourself, and just allow yourself to live in the Chainsaw Man game that you deserve, even if it is just for a short moment in time. And then press the number two on the keyboard, which makes the whole game go in slow motion. Yeah, epic slow-mo shots. Gotta love dev tools in fan games, baby. That said, I can now wait for that Attack on Titan update. Unreal Engine 5, multiplayer rebuilt from the ground up. It's apparently coming along pretty well. No, it's coming. It's coming along well. That's what I said. But for that, we're gonna have to wait for the final part of the final season of the final final arc of the final production of the final Attack on Titan final anime. Thanks, Swami, for taking the time to talk about this game you'll never finish. And for more games that will never happen, check out Bleach Fighters. How does it play? What is the roster? And what else will make you depressed to think about since you will never get to play it? Boy!